Good morning, welcome to We Repair. Uh, so yeah, we're doing something a little bit different today. Um, obviously, as you can see, you're looking at my uh, rather dusty HP Gen 8 micro server. Uh, so this is where I store all of my video content along with um, running a Plex media database and various other bits and bobs um, for my network in my house. Uh, so as you can see, we've got a nice flashing orange light on the front of it. Uh, unfortunately, that means that we've got a potential hardware failure. Uh, I've taken a quick look at the diagnostics on the box already which I'll show you in a minute um, and it has unfortunately confirmed that one of my discs in my uh, 4 gig uh, RAID 1 array is failing. Um, so today we're going to do a quick uh, re disc replacement on a HP Gen 8 micro server. Um, I'm going to strip it down, give it a clean and uh, generally give it some love because it's not had any for a while. So uh, yeah without further ado let me take you through that process. Anyway, cue the intro. So yeah, as you can see, uh, I now am connected to my server. Um, one of my four terabyte drives is predicted to fail. Um, so we need to get it replaced before it does fail. Um, it's part of a uh, one terabyte RAID array, so it means uh, I've got two ter two discs that are running as a mirror. Um, so if I lose one, it doesn't vastly matter, but I'd much rather have it up and running. Um, additionally, the, the both drives were installed at around the same time, so if one goes, the other one is likely to not be that far behind. Um, so just to give you a little bit of a, a brief show of what I'm running, let me just zoom you out a little bit, so you can see a bit more. Uh, I've got quite a few discs in this in this server, um, so I've got sat in here two six terabyte drives, which is where I store my main video, uh, two four about two four terabyte drives, which is where I store a lot of my family content, music and video and that sort of stuff that's distributed via Plex around the house, and then I've got a one twenty eight gig uh, SATA SSD, which is my boot drive. Now these discs are not hot swap, so unfortunately I do have to shut the server down. Uh, in order to, to go through and replace the hard drives. So I'll get that done now. I'll pull the server out, get it on the bench and uh, give you guys a little bit of a, a show around what a HP Gen 8 micro server looks like. Right, okay, so we're back on now. Uh, so this is my little Gen 8 micro server that is definitely not had any attention for a long while. As you can see, it is more than a little bit dusty inside because uh, we haven't haven't worked on this in a very long time it's just been sat on my shelf uh, so the disc that we're interested in said it was bay 4 so along the bottom here you can see we've got some bays uh, and this end one says number 4 so it should be that this is my disc so pull up pop it out and as you can see it is a 4 terabyte which is exactly what it should be um, Western Digital Drive which is what I've got in there at the moment Western Digital Black is an enterprise grade drive uh, does the job lovely um, so what we've got to do, we need to take this, this bracket off here uh, by undoing the four screws and we need to get it fitted onto our new disc. So I have got a Seagate Constellation drive to fit in here. Uh, so I'm just going to swap it over. So let's get, I'm just going to grab some tools and then we'll get the disc swapped over and then we get that fitted back in here. What I'm also going to do while I'm here is take the opportunity just to give it a really good clean up. Um, because it is looking more than a bit ropey. Uh, I have also got some RAM to fit in here as well, but I will do that as part of another video. Right, and we are now back. So I have successfully taken the old hard drive out. Uh, I've got the new hard drive fitted into its caddy. Uh, so we'll get that fitted. So uh, the SATA connections at the bottom, just slide them straight back in as far as they'll go, and then that'll lock it into place. Uh, and that's it, essentially, we have changed the hard drive. I'll just pop the cover back on. Obviously you can see it looks a hell of a lot cleaner. I've taken it out and given it a really good blast with a compressed air blower, so that's done. Uh, and I've taken the case off and cleaned it all inside as well. Um, and, and that is in effect it. I just need to plug it back in now. Uh, and then if you've got any experience with these, what you'll see is uh, in the, um, once you start the server back up and launch, launch the HP Smart Array software, you'll then see uh, the, the array is rebuilding. 
So I'm going to plug it back in and get that done. Uh, and, and in effect, then I can just leave it do its thing. And hopefully that is that. We shouldn't have any more problems with it for another five or six months. Um, hard drive wise, I went for a reconditioned unit with a 12 month warranty, uh, which is absolutely fine. If I have any problems, then I'll just send it back and get another one. Um, otherwise we're done. Uh, so if you have any questions or comments, uh, please leave them against the video and I will do my best to answer as many as I can. Uh, I'm not always the speediest at responding, so I apologise, but I will come back to you as promptly as I can. Or alternatively, reach out to me through Patreon or Facebook. Um, I'm, on the social, I'm on social media, so, uh, and again, I do try and respond as much as I can. Or drop me a message if you're really struggling, and again, I'll, I'll come back through that method as well. Anyway, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.